Live, Southern Colorado's only National Edward R. Murrow Award winner. This is Fox 21 News at 9. Be a firefighter. You're not a cop. You don't have the qualifications of a cop. El Paso County Sheriff Terry Makita speaks out after the Black Forest Fire Chief announces a cause of this summer's fire. Good evening, I'm Lauren Ferrara. And I'm Joe Cole. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. The battle lines are drawn. Black Forest Fire Chief Bob Harvey said on record this summer's fire was started intentionally. And now the El Paso County Sheriff is firing back, calling the comments irresponsible and he doesn't stop there. We have more on the feud in tonight's top story. You'll remember the Black Forest fire started back on June 11th and ended on June 20th. More than 500 homes were burned in the fire, which forced 38,000 people to evacuate. It surpassed 2012's Waldo Canyon fire, becoming the state's most destructive fire. Fox 21's Travis Ruiz sat down with the sheriff who says the fire chief is way out of line. Trav. Lauren Joe, Sheriff Makita is making some strong statements about Chief Harvey. Makita is accusing Harvey of not only releasing false information, but also hurting the investigation. Makita making some startling re revelations about the day the fire started. Last night, uh, obviously the plume died down. That's usually an indicator of activity, but the reality was we still had a lot of fire taking place. He may get to stay in my hotel. A strong warning. He had no right interfering with an investigation of ours. El Paso County Sheriff Terry Makita is not happy with Black Forest Fire Chief Bob Harvey claiming the fire was started intentionally. I draw the line and I have no problem pointing out that what he did was inappropriate and unprofessional and it lacked any professional courtesy. In fact, the statements Harvey made were completely false according to Makita. The evidence is steering away from deliberately set to accidental. And the misleading statements are just the icing on the cake. We have been dealing with this type of behavior from that chief and it's something I, I've never experienced. Makita says Harvey was even caught inside a closed arson scene. I have a picture of him showing up on our arson scenes outside his jurisdiction and meddling around in our crime scenes. His lack of cooperation. He has made allegations that have turned out to be totally false. He's provided written statements that we know are factually incorrect. When we've attempted to interview him on, on different claims, he's avoided us. And to the first day of the fire, Makita says Harvey's actions severely hindered firefighters' efforts. We lost a good hour of evacuating people out of there and um, because of his reluctance to be thinking about those kinds of things. Now, Makita also says he also approached Harvey when the fire first started. Harvey denied the Sheriff Department's help, in turn, slowing the process for state and national aid. Getting that aid quicker might have lessened the impact of the fire. Joe? All right, thank you, Travis.